Welcome to the Honda Lab. When it comes to advancements in technology, we often hear the phrase, the sky's the limit. But in the world of Honda, there is no such limit. On today's episode, we will showcase how Honda is taking on challenges to realize the dreams and potential of people worldwide and beyond while leveraging its core technologies. But first, as always, it's time for today's Honda trivia question. What was the first production automobile that Honda released to the public? A, the Honda Civic, B, the T360 mini pickup truck, or C, the Honda S500. We'll check in with you later to see how you did. So, by utilizing their core technologies unique to Honda, such as combustion, guidance, fuel cell, and robotics technologies, Honda is pursuing technological development with the sole purpose of creating new value in outer space. As international momentum for expanding outside the Earth's atmosphere continues to grow, Honda is striving to expand human development and activities on the lunar surface. It is said that there is water on the moon, and various possibilities for the use of that water is attracting a lot of attention. Right now, Honda is conducting joint research with the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, with a goal to build a circulative renewable energy system on the lunar surface using fuel cell technologies and high-pressure water electrolysis technologies that Honda has amassed to date. The system electrically decomposes water and stores the hydrogen and oxygen. Then using that hydrogen and oxygen, Honda's fuel cells can generate and supply electricity. The oxygen also can be used for people staying in living quarters on the lunar surface, and the hydrogen can be used additionally as fuel for rockets. By building such a system, Honda will strive to contribute to a wide range of human activities on the moon. Innovations like remotely controlled robots can minimize the risks to astronauts and could enable people to virtually enjoy the experience of being on the moon from right here on Earth. Honda is expecting to employ a number of its core technologies like the multi-fingered robotic hand technology, AI-supported remote control technology being developed for the Honda Avatar robot, and the highly responsive torque control technology for collision mitigation used in Honda automobiles. And if that's not enough, Honda is also working to develop a small rocket with a goal to use it as a launch vehicle for small, low-Earth orbit satellites with an additional mandate to make this rocket reusable by enabling at least some of the rocket components to land back on Earth after launch. Satellites help us to observe our global environment, such as global warming and abnormal weather conditions, and they are crucial to enabling wide area communication, which means effective connectivity to Honda's array of mobility products. Honda plans to utilize control and guidance technologies through further development of our automated driving technologies. All amazing stuff. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe as we will keep you up to speed as these and other initiatives unfold. Okay, so earlier we asked you, what was the first production automobile that Honda released to the public? Let's see how you did. The answer was B. The T360 mini pickup truck went on sale in August of 1963 and was powered by a small 356cc straight four gasoline engine. Two months later, in October, the S500 sports car was put into production. Well, that's it for today's episode of the Honda Lab. Join us next time for more unique and interesting stories from the world of Honda.